Welcome to part 22 of my Conan Exiles Beginner's Guide and Playthrough. This episode is all about golems, uh, where to learn how to craft them, how to get parts to craft them, and uh, what they can do for you. Um, so we are over at uh, Mechkamosa Spire, uh, over here near the savannah. Um, you want to come up here um, from the north around this spot over here at G7. And there's a little path that leads up to this. It's up on a mountain. Um, this used to be a thriving little city, but it's kind of uh, died down. But yeah, come up here. And if you need to learn the set religion, you can talk to Mech Kamosa. Um... You can also use blood crystals to take on the uh, Korax dungeon. Um, that's an end game dungeon we'll be doing later. Uh, you can trade in blood crystals to this merchant to get a uh, cash. That will give you various materials like iron bars, etc. But I come back here, and here is the trainer for Gollum. Greetings, Wanderer. Hmm. I suspect an interesting and winding road has brought you to me. I am a sculptor. Well, here's My story. My medium is blood crystals. Should you bring me some? I am happy to barter with my skills, such as they are. So many disparate and desperate roads lead to the partition of these exiled lands. Once, in another life it seems, I was an artisan of Kitai. My work displayed in the capital cities and honored with no small amount of praise. Mechamosis has shown generosity to we Kitan. He unites us with the promise of escape. His mind is ruthless but sane. No small feat for one who practices his art. Powerful statesman commissioned a statue in his image. I toiled for weeks searching for his likeness imprisoned in the block of jade. I chiseled, I cut, I perspired. Yet every time I neared completion, the jade shattered inexplicably. After the fifth failure, my patron sent me home in a fit of rage. That night, I was abducted. I awoke here. I have seen many oddities in my time here. I now believe my former patron to be cursed. Only a curse could keep me from freeing him from the Jade. Now, like you, like so many others, I am banished to this uncanny prison. Yet, the impossible possibility of escape has manifested. Mechamosis requires my hands to craft an altar to his exact specifications mm. to amplify his sorcery that he might open a gateway of egress from this cursed place. Should our gambit succeed, should we escape? I fear we must live in obscurity. I will have to perform my craft anonymously. Even escape is a sort of prison. And now the prospect of escape fills me with uncertainty. Should I remain here, life would be dangerous. I could be flayed in my sleep. However, the same is true for me in Katai. So many disparate and desperate roads lead to the perdition of these exiled lands. Once, in another life it seems, I was an artisan of Okay, Kitai. that is everything. My work displayed in the capital So learn cities. Gollum, Constructor. Um, you can also buy uh, me different Guardian parts uh, for Blood Crystal, for a ton of Blood Crystal. Because some of the uh, Tier 3 Guardian well, uh, pieces, Crystalline Guardian, you cannot actually craft all of those. You have to either find them in a dungeon or you can buy them from this guy. So, as we can see, we have all the Gollum stuff back here. Um, but I'm going to head back to base and we'll get our uh, golem station set up.
Okay, I'm back at base, and I got everything we need to put down the benches we need for Gollum. Gollum, so uh, get out your construction hammer. No, not the arcane staff. And go to crafting stations, golems, and uh, guardian assembly station. And I have a slightly different one that I got with a battle pass. So I'll put that one down. Let's see. I believe this is the front. There we go. So that's one part of it. And we also need a workstation. So there is the standard one, which is 100 brick, 50 iron bars, and 300 wood. And then I got one with a battle pass that looks slightly nicer. Um, and it's the same thing, but it requires a couple blood crystal. And we have picked up a little bit along the way. So we'll put this over here. And currently, uh, the only thing we can craft are these... Iron slag and brimstone golems. That's something I got with the battle pass. So you won't have that if you're in the base game. So what we need to do is go to knowledge. Yeah, it's a guardian. Um, and so we can unlock stone guardian shaper. That gives us access to the stone head, body, arm, and empty leg and empty arm. Um, we can also do brimstone that puts off like gas. It's more of a PvP thing. And then we have the arms with the various weapons and implements for stone. So unlock that. And then we have the tar guardian that drops tar and you can set it on fire again. More of a PvP thing, but we'll unlock that. Um, then we have the iron, iron Guardian Shaper, and that comes with head, torso, leg, and empty arm with iron. And then the Iron Guardian Tools, Crystalline Guardian Tools. With the Crystalline Guardians, you cannot um, craft the pieces, you just have to find them. But if you have an empty arm, you can craft a weapon arm. Um, and then you can make an explosive guardian head. Again, that's more for raiding bases. Um, so we, I won't demonstrate that today. Um, so what we want to do is now we have all these gar golem parts. And uh, first we'll start with a stone golem. And I've picked up some stuff along the way. Um, let's see, what do I got? I got a stone guardian torso. I got a stone guardian leg. Stone Guardian Empty Arm, Stone Guardian Axe Arm, and uh, Stone Guardian Brimstone Head. So slightly different, but you can mix and match the body parts. Um, so let's see. I need one more leg. So Stone Leg. All right various things so let me get everything together to craft various stuff and i will bring you back all right i got everything on here we need to craft a stone guardian leg so uh 200 stone 50 stone consolidate 10 iron reinforcements and five blood crystal okay so that should be everything we need to make our first golem. So come over to the golem assembly bench. We got the chest. We got the axe arm. We got one leg. We got two legs. We got an empty arm. And we got a stone guardian brimstone head. Actually, no, I don't want to make a brimstone head. Let me make a regular head. I don't want this putting out noxious gas. There we go. You can actually make them without heads. 
I think that just reduces their HP. Yeah. Okay, and then craft. There we go, there's our Stone Guardian. Um, this guy is technically a fighter, but uh, typically you're not going to want to use the Stone Guardians for that. Um, they're pretty weak in that regard. But what they are good for, somewhat good for, is uh, autonomously harvesting for you. So this guy will gather wood. So I'll put him over here by these trees. And then put a little wood in his inventory. And he only has uh, five inventory slots, but there he goes. Now you have to be in render range, or someone does if you're on a server. And there he goes. And no humans were hurt in the making of this golem. Um. So check his inventory, and he got some wood and branches so he'll keep at it as long as we're in render range all right and then uh i don't think we're gonna have enough blood crystal to do the iron and the crystalline golem so we're gonna need to go on a blood crystal run um so let me get all my stuff together to do that and uh, we'll get going so i'll bring you back in a second okay i got everything i need for my little adventure um, I did craft a star metal pick with some of the star metal I had left over um, to maximize our yield when we're gathering the blood crystal. I'm bringing my berserkers with us and uh, we're going to make a little loop in this corner of the map. Um, first we're going to head over to the unnamed city over by Red Mother Dragon and uh, there's a blood crystal golem over there. Um, and then we're going to come over to this area at D5. There is a blood crystal rock nose uh, down here is a blood crystal rock nose spawn and then we're going to come over here another blood crystal rock nose and then we're going to head up to the sinkhole uh, there is a blood crystal golem spawn in there down by the dragon and then we'll hop on our map room and come home so I'm going to head uh, over to the unnamed city and I'll meet you there Okay, we are over in the unnamed city near the blood crystal golem spawn. And uh, the easiest way to find these things is uh, use your sorcery. Uh, and this is one of the very first spells you unlock. Go to part the veil of time and space. And uh, focus on rare resources. So this is the detect resources spell and it'll highlight different rare resources of color and that red spot up here is a blood crystal spawn so we'll come down here get them to attack this baby dragon and then skull will pop out and the detect resources spell will stay on until you turn it off take this guy out maybe my guys are not attacking for some reason there we go um, I think they're I think they're stuck in the dragon Or 
where they're just derped out. Alright, Harvest Guy with a pick. Got various things. We got 192 Blood Crystal. Remember, I am on three times harvest rates. Um, sorry, I'm gonna head to the next spot and I'll see you there. Okay, we're coming up on the next spot by the drags. Um, and it should be right here by this pillar right here, but it is not there. Again, it's not a guaranteed spawn. Um, but this is where I'm at. Uh, a little south of the entrance to the drags at D4. So nothing there, so I'm going to head to the next spot up here. Alright, coming up on the next spot. It should be right here in this little corner and these rocks and stuff. And it looks like it's not here. Okay, so we will move on to the next spot. Okay, we're coming up on the next spot over here at F4. You can see it in the ground right there. So if we ride over here, he'll pop up. Now this is just a rock nose. They're a little easier to deal with, but they don't give you as much blood crystal. Okay, what do we get? 96, not bad. All right, so I'll head over to the sinkhole and go down our elevator and uh, meet you over there. Here we are, get to the bottom of the arena at the sinkhole. And the blood crystal rock nose golem should be like right here. Huh. I guess he's not here either. But yeah, he's, if he's here, he'd be right here. So I guess he's not spawning today. All right, so I'll head back up to the top, hop on the map room, back to base, and we'll uh, get crafting some more golems. We're back at base, and I think I got everything I need to make the next level of golem, uh, the iron. Um, so type that in. Um... So we have a Iron Guardian Empty Arm and a Radium Guardian Head. I'm going to use that. Um, it's going to make it glow, just for fun. Uh, so we need another Empty Arm. And we need a uh, Torso. So we got, and we need two legs, but I'm out. Uh, I'm out of iron bars. Okay, I'm going to go grab some iron bars. And I also need to make a, uh, we're going to make this guy a iron gatherer. So I need a steel warhammer. So I'm going to make that and grab some more iron bars. I'll be right back. Okay, I got everything we need on the golem workbench. Um, so we need two iron legs. Let's see. We can have two of those. So alchemical base, steel reinforcements, iron bars, and blood crystal. Uh, see the episode on gathering in-game materials to learn how to make alchemical base and where to get gold and silver easily. So let's craft two of those. Okay, and then we need to craft the uh, mall arm. There we go. And that should be everything we need. Arm, arm torso, leg, leg, head. Put all these on here. No, I'm missing an arm. There we go. Okay, 
Craft this guy up. Here he comes. There we go. And the radium head glows in the dark. Get him to follow me and we'll put him to work. Harvesting iron and coal. This guy to stand guard. If it'll let me place him down. Alright, go to his inventory. Put some iron stone and some coal in there. And he's got twice as many inventory slots as the um, stone guardian. Let's see how much he's collected. A good amount, 500. So yeah, those guys will work as when I'm around my base. Alright, up next we want to craft a Crystalline Guardian. Which is the highest tier Guardian. Typically used for uh, base defense. Uh, maybe for going out and adventuring. Let's see what parts we got. And you cannot craft any of the Crystalline Guardian parts. You can buy them from the Golem Trainer or find them in dungeons. And I found quite a bit doing the Unnamed City quite a few times. So I got a head. I got two legs. I got a torso. I have three empty arms. Um, I have a maul arm, but I want to give this guy a sword, so... That's everything we need. And then to craft the uh, sword arm, take a crystalline guardian arm, put it on your workbench uh, with a hardened steel greatsword. Um, I can find it. Here we go. Craft that. And there we go. That should be everything we need. Okay, arm, two legs, got everything. Let's craft this guy. Here he is. They're really big for a second, then they shrink back down. So weird. Um, but here he is. And these guys are, you know, they have a lot of HP. Um, they have a lot of slots, so you can use them for harvesting. Uh, 20,000 HP, but with any of the golems, you can't heal them. Once they take damage, they're done. Um, if you use the well-trained perk, they can't heal up to the full amount of their health, but it will help them with strength and stuff. Um, but yeah, I want to see what this guy can do against the Sand Reaper Hive Queen. So I'm going to take him over there. I'll meet you there in a second. Okay, we're coming up on where the Sand Reapers are and the Hive Queen. Right over this area, a little northwest of the base by these ponds. Let's put him, test him against these uh, little guys first. I'll be helping out with my new Venom-infused daggers, which I crafted. I learned that at the Library of Esoteric Knowledge using a Fragment of Power. And we got the Sand Beast Bile Gland uh, last time. And that allowed me to craft the daggers. Now he should do well against these guys because he can't be poisoned. Which is their most deadly aspect Ugh. 
So let me let her walk back here a second. Let me take this guy out. And you'll notice you do get a little corruption from uh, crafting the go golems. Got them all coming. Dang it. Should be alright. Watch out for the tail swipe. Not doing a ton of damage to her, but she's barely doing any damage to him. Poison and bleed, stacking. Yeah, she's not damaging him at all. But my poison and bleed is pissing her off. Easy peasy. All right, nice, easy work. He lost what three thousand health. So again, but you can't heal him in any way. So that is where he's at. All right. So that will do it for today. Um, I showed you where to learn how to craft, make golems, how to make them, what materials you need. Uh, demonstrated the gatherers and the fighters. Um, next time we will continue the slave bracelet quest and take on the black keep to get the tiers of two races. If you like this episode, please do me a favor and hit the like button. And have a good day.